Well, what's going on, everybody? This is Patrick, and this Saturday vlog I wanted to bring to you. Um, <laughs> we talked about this in the um, live stream last week, week before last, whenever it was. Last week, I think it was. Talked about home ownership. Well, for this little vlog, we're gonna we're gonna talk about home ownership real quick. All right. Well, let's talk about home ownership real quick. We've been in our home 13 years. We bought it uh, 14 years. Uh, we bought it brand new. I mean, it was literally, we picked out colors and all that good stuff in the house. Um, which was really good. Um, we were able to do that. And it's the American dream. It's to own your own home, own your piece of land, and all this gravy with the world. To an extent what you don't realize is yeah you may own your own home now if you live in the city or suburbs like i do there's rules and regulations what you can and can't do you know building envelopes that kind of crap um fences all that then you can move out in the country and you have less of those issues but you have more other issues than you do living in a suburb so for instance you know fire department's fairly close to us city trash you know all that good stuff live out in the country well you have to deal with your trash and chances are the fire department's just not right down the street and, you know safety and help and that kind of thing but that's where you learn to be a little more um, self-sufficient take care of yourself which we do even in the suburb still have to you know be pretty self-sufficient in the suburbs where really gets into um what i'm getting at right now the price of home ownership last year we had to replace the hot water heater we had to replace the downstairs air conditioner. This house has two air conditioners in it. It has downstairs um, central air combo heat, gas heat. Upstairs it has a, a heat pump, central air system. So we had to replace the one downstairs last year. That was about 50, 600 bucks. Uh, hot water heater, you know, all that done. Gas water heater. Um, you're talking another grand. So today, we had to have the upstairs unit replaced. That was $6,100. So just because you buy the home doesn't mean you're done paying for the home. 30-year note, so we're still paying on the house. You have to pay for insurance every month on the house. You have to keep the yard cut. Now, if I want to, I could hire somebody to do it or I can get my son to do it. You know, eventually, you know, something will happen. Somebody will cut it. One of us will cut it. But you got your yard. It has to be cut every time. Driveway's got to be pressure washed pretty soon because it's getting pretty funky. It's time to be pressure washed. So you have to go out and buy a pressure washer to pressure wash your driveway. Or you can hire somebody to do it for you. Pressure wash the house. You know, it's kind of time to do that. Oh, yeah, I mentioned I've got a pool. There's another expense um, that, uh, you know, your light bill goes up $100 during the summer each month uh, just to run the pool, pool pump to keep the pool circulating. Oh, did I mention I've got to have some deck work done because the deck has got some issues going on and it's time to put a new liner in the pool. I forgot about that part too. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's a money pit. <laughs> Let's be honest. Home ownership is not free. Um, it's not for everybody. I mean, you think about basically, I've spent 13 grand in the last two years just on the house, and it won't be long that the roof will have to be replaced. You're talking another ten, twelve thousand dollars, unless a storm comes through and damages it. There's that, but that's not a guarantee. The guarantee is at some point that roof has got to be replaced. 
So there we go again. Now I can do a lot of things myself and I don't mind doing them, but you also have to consider what is your time worth versus having to do that kind of stuff. My time's worth a lot because I got a lot to do. I got a lot of things going on in life. Um, so more than likely I'll pay to have the roof replaced. I'll pay to have the deck fixed. I'll pay to have the pool done. What we're going to do with the pool. But it's always something else. Floors. Carpet needs to be replaced. Or, you know, something of that nature. Or you got to paint the walls. You got to, and I do, I will say I have painted the walls and one of the wall, well, one room in this house already. Um, probably painting a couple more before it's over with. And I hate painting. I hate painting with a passion. But that's one of the things I can save on is I can paint walls. I can do it. I can do the decking if I wanted to. Me and my son get out there on the weekend and do the decking. His time's valuable too. So you have to weigh all that in consideration. You have to keep all that in mind. You now, when you're renting, you're basically paying for something that you're never going to own, but you're not having to pay for the up cost of that. So there's that. Even when you own, uh, um, we'll look at the, uh, let's look at the uh, uh, people in van life, for instance. Now, they don't have the big money of paying for the house or, you know, paying for the land they live on or paying taxes. That's another thing. Paying taxes. If you own a home, you got to pay taxes on it. Ours is wrapped up in our mortgage for now. But now my mother's house that I'm kind of taking care of now, I had to pay the taxes on it this year. And that was almost three grand for that. So there's more money out the door. But if you're living in a van or whatever and you've got the van life going on, that's pretty cool. You think, well, I don't have nearly the money going out as as uh, a homeowner does well this is true but you still have to pay for gas you have to pay for your food you have to pay for places to stay from time to time sometimes you can get for free and stay at walmart or you know stay in public lands or something of that nature but let's face facts you have to pay for where you live most of the time including that van this house an apartment a condo townhouse however you want to do it. We always got to pay to live. Just a matter of how much we want to pay and who it's going to. That's all it is. So anyways, guys, please, hey, this is just something I want to throw out there. Um, yeah, price of home ownership. But I wouldn't trade it for the world because this is my house. And for the most part, I can do what I want. I can film videos in my garage if I want to. I can film them in my bedroom. I can film them anywhere in the house I want to. Nobody can say anything about it. That's it. Price of home owner. Owning a place to live, period. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. I know this is kind of out of the realm, but something to come up. Be prepared.